Both these sides progressed in the FA Cup last weekend, but now for Carl Shorten Athletic and Margate, it's all about putting league points on the board. Margate have made the long trek up from the south coast today, and they include four new signings in their starting lineup. One of which will be familiar to Robins fans, Joe Tupper in goal, who's on loan from Premier League Crystal Palace, used to be a Robin a couple of seasons ago. Reese Prestige, ex Maidstone, and Bishop Stortford, captain to sides. And also watch out for number 11, Daniel Cadell. Five goals for him. He's the Margate's talisman. Carl Shorten boss Peter Adenyes had to shuffle his pack thanks to injuries this week. Omar Karoma still not fit enough to be involved. And there's three changes from the side that won at Harrow Borough last week. Injuries to Daniel Papo, Jerry Amu and Kashani Shamuels have given the chance for Ola Sabamu, Arnold Haxiu and Danny Dudley to all come back in. There's some new names on the Carl Shorten bench as well. Dario Perez, the goalkeeper. And Darren Thomas have both been with the club since pre-season but have yet to feature. While Jao Augusto has been playing well with the under-23s and has been given a chance to sample life with the first team today. Both these sides like scoring and they both like conceding so we're expecting a decent match here at Colton Avenue today. I'm James Barrett-Sterling and you're watching Robins TV. And he's, he's given it straight back to Tommy Bradford who looks up, tries to ping a ball in, comes off of Corboa. And then he picks out Corboa again. Oh, Tupper had to get down and smartly save. Didn't think it come down quick enough for Corboa. He kind of snatched it goalwards, really. But that's the first real effort on goal. But Denny now on the edge of the area. But there's not a lot of red shirts in there for Hamilton Downs to aim for. Goes in short. Bradford's missed it. Nice idea. Hamilton Downs, oh, lovely take. Spin, gets a shot off. Not too far away. Decent bit of skill from the Carl Shorten captain there. Patterson's come short. He's left it for Adenyi. Bradford wanted one over the top. Now Patterson's going to go as well. Feeds it into feet instead. Good take by Bradford. Patterson out wide to Price. Carl Shorten looking to build something in here. Bradford onto his left foot. Opens up for him a little bit, goes square for Adenyi. Looking to take on Fernandez. Tees up Corboa instead, can he? Too many yellow shirts around him. So Bamu gets it out wide. Decent cross in, but Tupper deals with it. Some half hearted calls by the fans behind that goal. Nowhere near crossing the line, methinks. And it goes from Cadell, looking for Fernandez, gets ahead on it. Whoa. Reeves was slightly just behind the pace of the ball there and Pertry who gathered it in, although the striker did have a little nibble. Ramadan back to Porto, gets it forward. And he spun away from Dudley. Luke Reeves done well to cover though, excellent defending. Referee said it was a foul by the big number five though. They're taking it quickly, Margate. Carl Shorten got to be switched on. Here's Ramadan, 20 yards from goal, gets a shot off. Pertrini who has to tip it over. Corner goes short. Cadell gets a deep one in with a lot of whip. Headed back by Fernandez. Great clearance off the line by Luke Reed. To deny Noel Leighton. Fantastic piece of defending by Luke Reed there to keep Carl Shorten in this game. He got back on the line and my words, it was an important header. Fernandez away from Corboa, sniffing. Good challenge by Denny to win that ball back for Carl Shorten. One step over for Corboa on his left foot. Drifted just wide of the far post. Carl Shorten have got the bit between their teeth at the moment now. But Corboa who takes it down on the chest. Now can he get past Fernandez? He can't, but referee says play on. It drops for Bradford. Corboa has been left in the heat, but now the referee brings it back. Going to be a booking for Fernandez, who's had a lively start to the game. He's been involved in a fair few things, but he picks up the first yellow card of the game as well. Now, Tommy Bradford standing over the ball. Joe Tupper in the Margate goal. Might have faced a few of these in training when he was a Robin a couple of seasons ago. Bradford's yet to open his account for the season. Here's Bradford. Tupper gets down and claims it quite easily.
Here's Leighton again. He's past one, past two. It's open up for him. I don't think his shot was on target, but it came off of Sobanmu. Corner kicks on Argate. Little dink up away by Dudley. Hacks to you. Price has got to make that, but he won't. Cadell onto his right foot. Thought about winding up. Margate still in possession here. Daniel Cadell looks up, whips in a good cross for Fernandez. It's been knocked away by Dudley. An important touch that. Cadell makes a signal on the corner kick and it goes to, into the six yard box away by Sofbanmu. Margate increasing the pressure here. Goes short this time. Cadell looking to spin away from Price. He's kept the ball in play as well. Pulled it back late and again off the line. I think it was Dudley this time. Margate did make a substitution at the break. Number 15, Michael Abnett, who Carl Shorten fans might remember, played for Mercer in the playoff semi-final here last season. Has come on for Harrison Hatful. Good play by Elliot Reeves. One of Gates' new signings. Squeezes in the cross as well. Important interception by Hamilton Downs. Cadell was coming in at the back post. Done ever so well there, the Carl Shorten skipper. Boa hustling and hurrying and he's drawn a foul there from Leighton. It was a bit of a wild lunge at Denny's in sense. It was quite late. Noel Leighton, who had those two efforts cleared off the line in the first half, is now going to go into the referee's book. It's going to be a second change for Margate. It's going to be Elliot Reeves to make way for Jack Richards. Goes in short, Ramadan again, back out. Cross comes in now, away from Cadell. Referee spotted an infringement in there. I think it's Luke Reed that stayed down. He's clutching his face or his head. Jordan Cheadle did score in this fixture last season from the penalty spot, but it was Margate that left smiling 2-1 victors. Can the defender come on and find his way to goal? Saw Bamu first time, but he's given it straight to Prestige. Now Ramadan looks to carry the fight forward for Margate. Onto his right foot as a poke. Pertoli, who can only push it away, and Cheadle's there. First bit of business to him is to clear away the loose ball. Now, can Carl Shorten fashion something here? Corboa. He's got hacks to you on the outside. Hasn't got a lot to aim for in the box. Picks up Bradford instead, 20 yards from goal. Again, it's. Always a bit backwards a square for Carl Shorten at the moment. Margate getting plenty of numbers back. Here's Cheadle. It's opened up for him a little bit. Freeze it through for Haxi, who's onside. He's put it into the side net in. Big chance for the number 20. Most people would have thought Cheadle was going to wind up and hit one then, but it was a neat threaded ball and Haxi took it with his right foot. Maybe he should have gone with his left. But that's a, a good as opening as Carl Shorten have carved out in this 75 minutes of football. But then he... Pass one, neat feet, pass a second. Oh, and then the pass straight to Michael Abnett who gets it forward. Cheadle bursts onto it, however. Decent ball to find Corboa. Corboa looking to get at his man. Onto his right foot, gets a shot. Oh! And Carl Shorten have opened the scoring. It's that man, Ricky Corboa, last season's top goal scorer. That's his second goal of the season. And you can see what it means to the players. Everyone bar Clet and Pertleru have gone up there to celebrate with him. Abnett showed, it on to, showed him onto his right foot, which probably wasn't the right thing to do, and he buried a low shot inside the near post. Joe Tupper didn't have a chance. It's Carl Shorten Athletic 1, Margate nil. He acknowledges it, but Margate still come forward. Here's an now goes square to Prestige, who was caught late there by Corbo. Was he? Referee says play on. Porter. Gets the cross in, away by Dudley. And out, looks up from 25 yards, way over the crossbar. Referee's gonna have a quick word with Corboro, I think. He did go in a little bit late on Prestige. Way into his top pocket, certainly. And here's a book in for the Carl Shorten goal scorer. And he's having an eventful afternoon. We're into added time by my watch now. Corboa, looks up from 20 yards, or oh, wayward. 
who's got a touch of cramp, has he? Margate have made their final change of the afternoon. Adam Ramadan has gone off to be replaced by James Jeffrey. And Corboa and is going to have to come off. Map. It's going to be Michael Kamara to take his place. as it made a first team appearance in a month or so. And that's it, Carl Shorten record a second successive 1-0 victory by virtue of Ricky Corboa's second half strike. It wasn't a sparkling performance by any means, but three points on the board. I mean, Carl Shorten get back to winning ways in the league. Margate will feel aggrieved not to go into the break 1-0 up, but Noel Layton was twice denied on the line, once by Luke Reed and then again by Danny Dudley before the break. Ricky Corboa's strike, 77 minutes on the clock. He took on Michael Abnett, cutting on side on his right foot and a low shot beyond Joe Tupper from about 12 yards and that proved the difference. Next up for the Robins is a home game here on Monday night against Lewis but we'll get some post-match reaction from this one. I've been James Barrett-Sterling and stay tuned to Robins TV.